talented, amazing, and let's face it, sexy musician John of St. Lucia is joining me in studio. You just did a, a little is this dance what you do when people call you sexy? to celebrate my talented, amazing, <laughs> and sexiness. Woo! Well, um, everyone will notice that I didn't introduce you with your full name because I have a hard time saying it. It's Grobler. 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 It's a very common South African Grobler. surname. You need Grobler. to practice. I need to practice. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I want to talk about your live video for Elevate. Sure. So why did you decide to do a live one on top of the official video? Well, we, um, I feel like, I mean, we're very proud of uh, the live show that we put on, um, but we still, I still have people in interviews saying like, what's your live show like? Is it just you and a laptop? And I'm like, do people if there's really only ask some you way, that? No, people really, really ask me that. Like, people, people will interview me. Like, I had this one interview, this is slightly going off topic, but I had an interview yeah. once. We were on our way to do a show supporting Two Door Cinema Club mm -hmm. in Vancouver. And the interviewer called me and he's like, hello. And I'm like, hi. Um, <laughs> and he's like, who is this? And I'm like, oh, this is uh, Jean from St. Lucia. Um, the person he's like, why, 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 why am I talking to you? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing an interview. And the guy literally knew nothing about me. It's like someone just literally handed him a phone and said, talk to this guy. And he, he was like, so, so do you make music? And I'm like, He didn't yeah. even wing he it? He didn't, he had no idea. So people just have this job to interview. And I think a lot of people just are just like, okay, I have to interview this guy and they know nothing about it. Um, so anyway, back to the video. And that was in Canada. <laughs> That was in Canada, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry um, about that. It's okay. It was. A f <laughs> I can now tell that story, and it's a fun story to tell. Um, but yeah, so you know, a lot of people don't know what our live show is, and we just wanted to, you know, and we and we did this whole. It was the first time that we had like full production and a whole light yeah. show and everything, and um, we filmed a lot of stuff on GoPros, and then we had awesome. a friend of ours come and film, you know, behind the scenes mm -hmm. for a few of the shows, and we just wanted to share it with the world. Well, amazing. Now, speaking of sharing things, your South African tour is starting this Saturday mm -hmm. in Cape Town. What can people expect? Well, um, not me behind a laptop. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you sure? Well, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe, maybe I'll just get rid of the band and Switch decide to you know, save some money and just <laughs> DJ my terrible DJ skills. Um, but yeah, um, you know, we just we we like to put on a fun show. We mm -hmm. have a lot of fun on stage. I sweat like a some animal that sweats a lot. Um, Maybe and, a human being. Yeah, like a <laughs> really sweaty human being. Um, and yes, yeah, so we you know we just we we try and do as much of much as we can, mm. like actually live on stage, and we just have a lot of fun. We involve the audience. Um, we're also the the show that we're doing on Saturday ends at 1 a.m. and then we fly to Pretoria at 6 a.m. or to Johannesburg Your at 6 a.m. Your life is crazy. It is crazy. I don't know why we're doing it this way, but it's <laughs> just happening. Just and so then we get to Pretoria, we load in and sound check at like 7 a.m. or something crazy. And then we go to the hotel and we sleep for like three hours and then we come and play and we'll probably all be zombies, but we'll do our best. Well, I want to talk about Hawaiian shirts. You wear Hawaiian shirts a lot when you're playing. Mm -hmm. Why? It just, I mean, it started because at the time, it just seemed to me like the fashion that bands were wearing was like very kind of muted and toned mm -hmm. down or just like stark and kind mm -hmm. of, and it just, the music that I was making to me just didn't fit in with that yeah. way of dressing, you know? So, and at the time nobody was wearing Hawaiian shirts. So it was just like, start wearing Hawaiian shirts. It just seemed like a cool, like fun thing. That's that, amazing. Um, and it sort of made me laugh, the idea of wearing Hawaiian mm -hmm. shirts. And in the beginning, my band literally wanted to quit. They were like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> and now it's become a thing, and it's crazy. And well, I have something here for us. <laughs> I have a Hawaiian shirt. Nice. Now, should I, like I wear it? it? Because most news presenters don't wear it. Or do you want to wear it? Just I for think fun? you should wear okay. it. I think you should feel what it's like to be to happy be with life. Okay. <laughs> I thought I knew, but I think I'm g this is going to take it to the next you need level. A, you need a pina colada right now. All right. Well, you did an amazing playlist for us on Channel 24's Friday Weekend Mix. We want to know what South African musicians you're listening to right now. Um, I think my current favorite, um, and it's funny because almost all of my friends that I talk to in South Africa have never heard of this guy, but um, his name is John Wizards. And, um, I've also never heard of him. He's based in Cape Town and like he made one of my top five favorite albums of last year. That's amazing. And uh, yeah, it's very, very, very African influenced by like the music of all of Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, to me, it's just, it's, it's refreshing because I feel like a lot of, 
a lot of bands that come out of South Africa um, who aren't like African bands yeah. are really like try and sound like an American band or a British band. You know, they're, they're interesting. You're the second person who said that this week. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just, and and I understand why. Like I was doing that when when I was living in South Africa as well. But I think a lot of people don't realize the value of like living in South Africa. You know, yeah. and I don't think that that doesn't mean like every band has to go and try and sound African. Right. But um, yeah, I think. I think it's important for like the bands in this country to realize the value of being here and not try and be like Radiohead or try and be yeah. like Cut Copy or like a band from another country. They should know? be themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And sometimes that means b sounding like not South African, right. but yeah, I just feel like a lot of bands kind of try and pull off the American or European thing. Um, but I love John Wizards. I think what he's doing is very original. Amazing. Well, remind me how people can check you out online, follow you on Instagram, find out where you're playing next. Sure. Um, so our Instagram and Twitter mm -hmm. are both St. Lucia, New York. Mm -hmm. Just S-T, Lucia, New York, yeah. uh, like spelt out fully. <laughs> um, and um, our Facebook is the same. It's just facebook.com forward slash St. Lucia, New York.